Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to welcome you back to my 2013 Year in Review. I had a really weird 2013, so instead of a top 10 list, I'm giving you a series of really weird awards. It's really just a top 10 list in disguise, but don't tell anyone else, alright? As with all lists, awards, or attempts to rank anything in any manner, this is completely subjective. If you don't see a game in one of these award categories that you think should be there, I probably didn't play it, or maybe I just hated it. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's get on to the award. Best Use of the Vita It's Tearaway. There's no discussion. It's absolutely Tearaway. No game before this, or probably after it, will utilize the features of the Vita quite so well, in such a charming way, and in such a complete way. Or at least that's what I'm given to understand by reading reviews, because I haven't actually played Tearaway, so I can't really give this award to Tearaway. So instead, I'm choosing to focus in on Vita's versatility as a peripheral. Oh, come on, my fellow Vita owners, you can take a joke, right? Come on, I know you can. Now, in all seriousness, the feature I'd actually like to highlight here is Remote Play. Now, if you're not familiar with this feature, it came about on the PS3, and it was the ability to sync your then PSP, or now PS Vita, with the PS3 to control the system off-screen on your handheld and even play some games using the PlayStation 3 as the engine and actually seeing the game and controlling it on your handheld. Now that sounds a little bit like something called the Nintendo Wii U GamePad, doesn't it? Well, it's existed for a while and it's been a feature of the PS3. Unfortunately, it was poorly implemented and really wasn't very widely used. Only about two dozen games ever came out that were actually compatible with the ability to play them on the second screen. And of those, there really weren't many marquees Probably Shadow of the Colossus was, was the biggest one that I actually got to work. Uh, when I did use the system, it always worked pretty well, but ultimately it was just a bunch of unrealized potential. Until now, the PS4 has remote play built into the hardware, so it's available right out of the box on all games. Now, every developer may not utilize it, but Sony does have sort of a standing order for everybody to use it unless your game wouldn't work without something like a PlayStation Eye or something like that that you just can't have on a Vita. So given this mandate from Sony and the falling Vita prices thanks to them axing the OLED screen from the system, sounds like 2014 is going to be a pretty good year for remote play, but why am I actually highlighting this feature in 2013? Well, it's because of a really, really little known feature of the Vita and PS3 that wouldn't be possible without remote play, and that is Cross Controller. Currently, the only games I'm aware of that actually support this feature are Little Big Planet 2 via a DLC and Guacamelee. Now, Guacamelee is actually the game I'm choosing to highlight here because I played through the entire game using the cross controller functionality. The game was displayed on my television, being powered by my PS3. I used the Vita as a controller with a map screen displayed on the Vita's screen. It was really, really great. And even though the map screen wasn't interactive, it really showed me something. A glimpse of the future, if you will. I think this could be the feature of the PS4. The thing that sets it apart. I mean, you've got the functionality of a Wii U gamepad here at your disposal. And if Sony can drop the price of the Vita into a sweet spot that guarantees them a high install base, then you might see games that actually use this feature as part of their gameplay. While that's probably unlikely, it's something to hope for. And in two or three years when the PS4 system prices drop, I'll be right there with my shiny white Vita waiting for my chance to try out some of these little known remote play based features. So there you have it folks, it's my best use of the Vita in 2013. If you'd like to share your thoughts on the best use of the Vita or just the Vita in general, please feel free to do so in the comments below. Otherwise, hang out here for more year in review silliness. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.